I genuinely have a question. Why are women doing way better than men? If you look at society right now, women are doing a lot better than men. And in a, in, a, in, a, in a number of things. Mentally, they're higher. Financially, they're higher. They have more hustle, mentality. They're doing a lot better than men are. Boy, men are like... value in the world is honestly just going to be used for um, reproducing and building this house that I'm living in. Other than that, they're pretty fucking useless. Because women are at the top right now. And I'm not like, saying that I'm coming from like some type of feminist or like that I hate men. But it's literally just facts. Men cannot thrive um, without being fake. Following, being a follow body, meaning like following other men. Or degrading people or other women around them. Or being very egotistical and using other people to get to the top. It's very rare. Or drug dealing. Other than that, it's very... Or, or scamming. Other than that, it's very hard for um, men to be successful. So when I see a man in a, in, a, in a uniform being a firefighter or a doctor or like a police officer... Not saying that all police officers are good, and it's very, it's not it's as if it's like it's hard to be a police officer. It's really not like it's pretty easy to get that um, get that done. And personally, but, I don't give a fuck about your potential, what you're gonna be, what you're gonna make one day, who you're gonna be. I don't give a fuck about that. Who are you now? What are you doing now? I don't give a fuck who you think you're gonna be or what you think you're gonna achieve. I don't give a fuck about that. What are you doing right the fuck now? That's what makes you worth. With who you are. It doesn't matter what your, what your potential is. Your potential does not cancel out who the fuck you are right now. Talk about your goals, all this, etc., etc. But you're still broke. And you're still living with your parents. And you can't afford to go, do, to go out there and, 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 and save up stuff. And you do it go out all the time. You want to spend money on all these things you don't need. Make it make sense. Pick your priorities, because one of these days, and y'all motherfuckers say wanting a girl who has money, etc., etc., but y'all motherfuckers don't have nothing. What do you have? What do you have to bring to the fucking table? Nobody cares about your fucking brain or your, or your potential. All you men have the same things, and all us women might have the same things too, but it's very rare to find yourself a woman who's going to um, give you motivation, who's going to motivate you to get your shit together, you know, all that stuff, give you inspiration. It's very rare to find a woman like that. Um, so, y'all motherfuckers is wasting your time with the real bitches, and then when the real bitches are finally taken, you're going to find yourself a little bimbo. Who you are now... Manifest into who you're going to be in the future. So if you're a bum right now, you're going to be a bum in the future. I'm sorry. Because how are you not hustling? How are you saying that it's hard to get jobs out there? It's just embarrassing. And embarrassment. Kidding. Go and get your ass. Go work. Go do something productive. Because honestly, you're hurting my fucking head on how women are more successful than men in this generation. It's... It's giving we're the leaders of the world. It's giving we're the new men. Y'all ain't y'all are not the men anymore. It's y'all can't lead relationships. You can't afford a relationship. That's why half of y'all are single because you think you you you, you wouldn't be able to lead your woman and half of you can't do that, which is why you're fucking single. Anyways, it's very hard for a man to scam me because I already know how to fucking scam. I could just scam a bunch of you niggas if I wanted to, but that's the type of bitch I am. It's because I know your game. I know how you niggas play. How you wanna own. I wanna wait. I'm not ready to settle down. Yeah, because you live with your fucking parents. That's why. You wanna be a kid. Okay, move the fuck out. Get your own house. And you'll finally see, you know what? I think I'm ready to settle down. You don't wanna settle down because parents. you live with your fucking Okay? That's what the fucking reason is. It's not because you can't afford it. 
or because of this or because of that because you live with your fucking mommy you live at home once you move out of your parents and see what the real world has to offer you by yourself you'll finally be like you know what i think i'm ready to settle down mm-hmm Parent, kids, and the same man who's, who has a girl that he's been talking to for months. Y'all are fucking, y'all are talking. Everyone knows you two are an item, but you're not going to make it official to the world. I dislike you. To the bottom of my fucking... You're teaching that, you're teaching her that that's normal. All these things you're doing to women, talking to them without any commitment, except you're literally fucking abusing them. It's abuse. I hope you know that. Any type of man that wants to talk to a woman without giving her a commitment, but having sex with her and all these things, I don't trust you. You really abuse women. It's abuse because they are literally not normal to them. They're, they're normalizing that, and that's what they're going to accept for the rest of their fucking life. Which is why some bitches are like, oh, no more relationships. I don't like men. I'm sorry, but if you don't think talking to a girl and giving her the... Um, the thought that you guys could be something in the future and without actually giving her anything in the future, that's abuse. It's manipulation. It's what gaslighting. It and you're fucking sick. You know how many men do that to girls? Just fuck them, talk to them, and then say, oh, I'm not ready for nothing serious? You're abusing her and you're sick. I don't, I don't have sex for fun, okay? Because it's abuse. Any man that was, is able to let you spend money, do all that things without giving you any type of commitment, it's abuse. As me as a single mother, any man that, 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 that allows me to spend money on him while I'm struggling myself, it's abuse. They don't care. If I was talking to a guy that was struggling, and I knew he was struggling in it, and I'd be like, no, like, save your money, like, but I'm not buying you anything. Like, if you really, if you're kind of talking about, oh, like, I don't have money, da 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 then save it, but don't expect no. me to pay for you. Like, I'm struggling, too. Like, it's not a need. It's not a necessity. If if we want to go 50-50 on something, we could do that, but I'm not fucking buying you, okay? Fucking prostitute. Yeah. If you really, if we're in a relationship, then sure, that's a little different. That's different, because I can help you out sometimes, and then... You know, you can help me out sometimes. This is how it's going to be. But if we're not dating and you already have me spending money on you. It's giving broke. Mm -hmm. And I don't want a man like. It's just morals. I mean, you got you don't have to be like rich to be in a relationship. But you have to be. You have to know to expect. You have to know that you're going to have to spend money sometimes. And, you know, da 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 da. But if you're coming in with the expectation that um, I'm going to fuck it. While still, you know, having your parents take care of you. That's embarrassing. And it's giving man-child. It's giving adult child. It's giving baby boy. You know baby boy? I'm not Yvette. Okay? Back the fuck up and get the fuck out of my DMs. I don't want your crusty, dusty ass. Ashy. Go wash your ass. Move out of your parents' house. Get your life together, and then maybe we could talk. Other than that, don't try to come talk to me about, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. I can take a man seriously who runs back to his fucking parents' house every time the real world hits him on the ass too hard. I can't do that. My, I don't talk to any of my family members. Don't have My mom doesn't like me. I, don't, I can't just run back home when something goes wrong for me. So if I have a man like that, embarrassing. That's my fucking TED Talk for today. Mind you, I wouldn't consider myself as a fucking feminist women and just, women's rights and women empowerment and the safety and the support and the love of women, especially black women. Have a good day. Bye.